there, I'm Harriet Ross, Assistant Planning Director at the Delta Stewardship Council. Here at the Council, we work to align science, policy, and decision making to support a reliable California water supply and a resilient Sacramento San Joaquin Delta ecosystem, all while protecting and enhancing the Delta as an evolving place where people live, work, and recreate. As the world continues to feel the pressures of climate change, we must move quickly and cohesively to plan and respond to the climate challenges facing our region. California relies on the Delta in many ways. It supplies a portion of the drinking water for 27 million Californians, fuels the state's $3 trillion economy, and is a biodiversity hotspot with more than 750 plant and animal species. The Delta is also a place of historical, cultural, and agricultural significance. More than 500,000 people call the region home, from legacy communities to farmers and more. And people around the world depend on food grown in and exported from the Delta. In 2018, the Council took a bold step toward better understanding future climate change effects on the Delta by embarking upon the two-phase Delta DAPS initiative. Delta DAPS will inform future work at the Council, provide local governments with an informational toolkit to incorporate into their regulatory documents, integrate climate change into California's prioritization of future actions and investments, and serve as a framework to be built upon in years to come. In phase one of the initiative, the Council assessed communities' vulnerabilities to specific climate change impacts, including sea level rise, rainfall, runoff patterns, and air and water temperatures. This innovative and comprehensive vulnerability assessment also identifies risks to residents, agriculture, utilities, recreational areas, and more. Initial findings indicate that climate change is already affecting the Delta and the impacts will intensify over time. This means more frequent extreme heat events, longer periods of drought, more wildfires that worsen air quality, and increased flooding events as the Sierras experience more rain and less snow. Extreme heat events will impact the health and safety of residents, particularly older adults, outdoor workers, and people without access to air conditioning. In the future, water shortages due to drought will be more often and more severe. This may make water more expensive and force water suppliers to enact emergency conservation measures similar to those experienced between 2013 and 2016. Both heat and drought contribute to wildfires, which are unhealthy for everyone, but especially those with pre-existing health conditions, children, and the elderly. Climate change is projected to lead to larger, more frequent, and more severe wildfires across California. This will worsen air quality in the Delta, leading to increased hospitalizations and adverse health effects. Delta levees, which protect cities, farms, public utilities, and historic places and landmarks, were designed for today's sea levels and storms and will not provide adequate protection in the future. Effects from sea level rise and changes in precipitation will increase the likelihood that flood waters overtop our levees in the coming decades. By 2050, five times as many people will be exposed to high levels of flood risk compared to today. Flood impacts from climate change will disproportionately affect people who have limited resources for preparedness, evacuation, and recovery. Collectively, we will all face many challenges caused by climate change. With the knowledge that we've gained from the Council's vulnerability assessment, we can figure out how best to respond to these challenges in changing times. The Council, local government representatives, and other state agencies can also use this information to advocate for targeted funding and investments to protect communities and key infrastructure equitably. Input on the vulnerability assessment from a diverse range of people with interest in the Delta, including you, is vital to the development of Delta DAPS Phase 2 and Adaptation Strategy. The Adaptation Strategy will identify a range of actions to improve regional resilience to climate change so that the Delta can recover quickly. A resilience toolbox of information with the relative cost of implementation and prioritization of actions included. Together, we will innovate forward-looking approaches to protect the Delta and to adapt to our new reality. 
To join us, reach out to our Delta Downs team.